Hi folks, this is Applied Calc 1, Checkpoint Quiz 1. Our first example, we're asked to approximate a definite integral using a right endpoint sum. The function we have here, f of x, is 1 over x, and so let's get a picture of what's going on. Let's graph y equals 1 over x from 1 to 4. y equals 1 over x is one of these reciprocal functions. So it looks something like that. And we're looking from the interval from 1 to 4. So I'll call that x equals 1. I'll call that x equals 4. We're asked to find RS3. RS3 is the right endpoint sum with three subdivisions. So the entire interval is from 1 to 4 that has a length of 3. So if I chop it up into three equal pieces, each piece is one unit long. So uh, the first interval is going to go from 1 to 2, and then from 2 to 3, and finally from 3 to 4. So these are the three subintervals. And we're going to chop then this area up into three pieces, and we're going to approximate this area by looking at the area of rectangles. Now, RS3, since we're using the right endpoint, we're going to look at the right endpoint of each of these three subintervals and use that function value and draw from right to left. So we're going to approximate the area under the curve between 1 and 4 by finding the area of these three rectangles and adding them up. Now you'll notice that I'm missing some area under the curve. So this approximation is going to be a little less than the actual retail value of this definite integral. Okay, so let's actually compute RS4, RS3. We just need to add up the area of each of these rectangles. The area of a rectangle is the base times the height. The first rectangle, the base is just one unit. How do we find the height of this rectangle? Well, we found the height by taking x equals 2 and going all the way up till we hit the curve. So the height, of this rec the height of this rectangle is the y value on this curve. So when x equals 2, what's the y value? I go back and plug it into that equation. 1 over 2. The second rectangle, the base once again is 1 unit. What's the height? 1 over 3. And finally, the last rectangle, base is 1, and what's the height here? Plug in x equals 4, it's 1 over 4. So I add these up. The common denominator seems to be a 12. 1 half is 6 twelfths. 1 third is 4 twelfths. 1 fourth is 3 twelfths. So we get a grand final answer of 13 twelfths. And as we mentioned before, this estimate is less than the actual retail value of the integral because you can see we're missing some area. And so that's number one. Number two, we're asked to find a definite integral by interpreting it as an area. So what we need is a nice picture. We're integrating over the interval 2 to 5. The function value, or the function rather, the integrand, is 6 minus x. So if I graph y equals f of x, I'm going to get myself a line. When I plug 2 in, I'm up at 4. When I plug 5 in, I'm down at 1. Connect that with the line. And so what I need to do is find the area. Now, I can find this area geometrically. There's actually two different ways. Uh, I can think of this as a trapezoid, which most students don't like. What most students like a little bit better is looking at this as a triangle on top of a rectangle. So let's go ahead and divvy it up that way. So we have a triangle on top here and a rectangle on the bottom. So the integral from 2 to 5, 6 minus x dx, is the area of the triangle, which I'll call T, plus the area of the rectangle, which I'll call R. 
The area of a triangle is one half, half the base times the height. Well, the base of the triangle here, that's three units long. What's the height of the triangle? You have to be a little careful. The height's from here to here. The entire thing is four units, but I only want from here to here. So the height of this triangle is also three. What about the rectangle? The rectangle is just base times height. The base is three. And what's the height of the rectangle? That's just one. So I get nine halves plus three, which is nine halves and six halves, which is 15 halves. And so the, that's the actual value of this integral. We took the definite integral, realized it as an area, used a couple geometry facts, and that's it for problem two.